Six Enlightening Steps to Start Your Spiritual Journey During These Tough Times Hi everyone, the world we live in today is being haunted by the fact that people don't want to go deep to know what they indeed are. They are comfortable with the emptiness in their lives. They are constantly haunted by the shallowness of their relationships, fearful issues and inevitable loneliness. Little do they know that there's so much that they don't know about themselves. Everyone carries different mysterious and magnificent qualities that they don't know about, except when exposed to the knowledge of their true self. The journey to discover your true self is ever-changing and continuous. There's no point where this transformation can come to a stop because it never ends, but the beginning is always very tough. But this video is here to help you with six enlightening steps to start your spiritual journey. Before moving further, don't forget to like and please share this video if you think this information is helpful to you. And do subscribe and activate the notification bell if you're new here. 1. Be easy and go at your own speed. When you begin your spiritual journey, the influx of information will be much on you. You don't need to feel astounded by it, but you need to take things slowly, be gentle and kind to yourself, and make sure not to be in a hurry. Go at your own pace. Don't try to know every detail of everything that's said about the journey. Just take in the little you can for the moment and move with that. I know it might be tempting to want to know more, but you must understand that everything you're trying to learn is already within you. Only time will get you there. So reduce stress on yourself, go gently, but deeply. 2. Discover the purpose of your journey. Before you begin your spiritual journey, try to make sure you carefully think about what you're about to go into. You have to be specific on your goal and the purpose you wish to embark on the journey. When you can know this, then it's easier to direct your path and go towards the exact thing you're after. This is because there are many reasons why people embark on a spiritual journey. While on the journey, keep an open mind because your purpose can change as you embark on the journey, but it will not drift very far from the primary objective. 3. Pay attention to practices that excite you. While you are about to embark on your spiritual journey, certain things might excite you about the journey. Some of these things that might be the reason why you are interested in this journey in the first place, so you have to note them and make sure that you pay attention to things that have to do with that line of enlightenment because they must be the reason why you opted to seek that path. These things could be philosophies, tools or practices. A spiritual journey is not supposed to be dull or dry and this is possible if the practices of your path are things that excite you. 4. Commit to something It's not a bad idea to go from one practice to another at the early stage of your spiritual journey because it is believed that this is your beginning and you're trying to find your balance. But it is advisable that once you find the path you want to get involved in, there is no need to keep jumping. You should try and commit to that path and get grounded on it. If you want to know more about other practices, you can check them out on YouTube and other media. But commit yourself to one path at a time so that you don't lose focus. 5. Be aware that not everyone is your friend. During your journey, you need to be very vigilant with the people who come your way because not everyone who comes to you comes with good intentions. Some can be on the same path as you while others can be different. Some people you meet have your interest at heart, whilst some do not. These people that don't have your interest are only there to use you as a means to get what they want. So always learn to be discerning and trust your instincts at all times. 6. Keep records. When you're starting your spiritual journey, you'll come across so many things that you might not understand at the moment, but will eventually do as time goes on. The best way not to forget these things is by keeping records. Keep a record of everything you learn and all your encounters, as some of them may help you understand some more profound ideologies in the future. You can keep your records in the form of journals, creating pieces of art with it, or composing music. Whichever suits you better should be the one for you, but make sure to keep records. Well, what do you think of this video? I hope this piece of information is helpful to you. Don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell to follow our subsequent video updates. Thanks for watching this video.